Yo. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I want to talk about busy. There we go. All right. Shared it out and liked my own feed. Boom. All right. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, Dustin. I got to get in touch with you. <laughs> I think I was, I think I was supposed to today. Damn it. I forgot. My apologies. I'm, I've been slammed all day. Well, my day, y'all's night. I've been slammed all night. I'm hearing myself. Uh oh, there we go. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Jeffy. Yeah, uh, frostbite. Remind me a little bit later to get with you. Um, I totally forgot today or last night, whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> dude, it was it was a very hectic day. It was like every time I sat down to do something, like. 10 things popped up. I ended up getting home. I had to go out. I had to go do a shoot. And then uh, I finally got home. I had to go straight to work with the damn blueprint job. And yeah, it was <laughs> been crazy. It's been crazy around here. Well, that's cool. Okay. Hell yeah. I'll get with you. What's up, Jeffy? Good morning. Good morning. I'm a little early on my live feed this morning, but it'd be all right. It'd be all right. Um, yeah, I've, I've been having some really good responses. I need to get my tablet so I can tell you the exact what it was, what's, what's this, but, uh, yeah, the hashtags that I used have been working really well on TikTok. Um, I have one video with like 6,000 views. Um, I'll tell you in one second. I just have to open up the tablet. Looks like somebody did a another duo with me. Yeah, so I'm up to 372 followers. Um, and I got 1,969 likes today. Uh, let me go to analytics. Um, so in the last 28 days, I've got 11,352 likes and uh, three 300 and something followers. Uh, cause I, I just, I just started this count like a few days ago or like a little bit ago. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I've got an average of 50 or 61, 93, 53, 91. So there's a lot of nineties, 109, 97, um, 461. That would be, that would be one that hit the for you page. Like you were talking before through 245, 294, 686. Um, I got some pretty decent views, 6,998, 1,393, um, I that was another one too, and I don't know where the hell it's at, oh, 1,113, so I mean, those are the ones that hit the For You page, and then the other ones are trending, I've got like six more that are trending, so hopefully they'll pull on up too, um, but yeah, so I, I, it's, it's, it's making it, it's getting it. The TikTok is moving right along. And then the, uh, of course the, uh, Instagram has been going pretty nuts. Let me see what I got here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've been working on the, I, I did the, the hashtags and stuff and it worked out pretty good. Uh, teeth work, teeth work with the face. Keep them as part of the look. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I want better teeth made. Um, I'm going to the dentist and have my, my teeth redone. Uh, yeah, I've been sleeping really weird lately. I've been sleeping weird lately too. Uh, good morning, Jason. Jason's in the house. What's up, Biggs? What's up, everybody? Go follow Biggs. Uh, all of y'all probably already do because he's so amazing. Well, good morning, Chantel's in the bir in the the birthday girl is in the house. Okay, so it's Chantel's uh birthday today. So everybody wish her a happy birthday and send her a lot of love today. Uh, good morning, Drew. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Danny. Uh, I think I told everybody hi. Jason. Good morning, Jason. Michael, what's going on? Good morning. Better the stream. Hell yeah. 
All right, so yeah, we got we got a bunch of stuff that we've been doing. Um, I was re-looking at the analytics. So yeah, Frostbite was telling me yesterday about the analytics of uh, TikTok, and we were going over a few things. That was pretty cool. And uh, using the hashtags really did help out um, on those things. And then of course the Instagram has been going stupid lately. I don't mean I don't know why, but it's been it's been well. I'm not complaining. It's just it's been crazy. Uh, let me find my analytics on it. It has. I mean, I'm getting like, uh, I'm getting well over 100, almost almost 200. Yeah, uh, the lowest one's 169, so 196, 184, 199, 202, 222. I'm getting some crazy views off my my Instagram right now, which is pretty cool. And um, I'm up 45 followers in this week so just this week um i went to 752 followers of course i want to try to get that to a thousand followers before uh before halloween but i don't know if that's going to happen so if y'all are on the instagram repost my shit and give me some followers on insta insta crud that'd be awesome if y'all could do that all right so yeah we've been working out pretty good oh fam but i'll message you okay yeah definitely message me Definitely message me. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, that's all cap locks. Oh my goodness. I'm doing my my morning live feed early this morning. Uh, good morning, Jesse. Oh, God, dog it. I'm dropping shit. Tell it, I made two shirts for this guy. I had to keep on him. You know, my money won't ever do that again. Tell him no more money, no shirts. He had no shit. Yeah, if you are if you make something like, you know, on Etsy or on, uh, you know, and you're selling it out or on store or whatever, you got your own store or whatever. Yeah, always get your money first. Always. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. So yeah, everybody, uh, Chantel's birthday is this morning. Uh, today. Well, t this morning. It's it's going to last all day long. I'm not the brightest guy in the world sometimes. It's going to last all day long today. But it's her birthday. Y'all give her some love. Show her some lots of love. Lots of love. So yeah, so we've got some really cool stuff going on with the with the Cult of Fools, which you already know about. But we've also been, been booming up on the TikTok and on the Instagram and getting all that going so um people can see the content and trying to get it out there of course to get shirt sales and so on and so forth uh it's been a blast i found a couple different things that i can do to try to help speed things up with uh followers and uh post clicks and so on and so forth other than just doing um the you know the ad advertising and stuff <coughs> Yeah, you gotta start making videos if you got followers. Absolutely. Uh, Jason, what did I do? <laughs> what? A, I'm amazing. Jason says you are amazing, Abaddon. What did I do? <laughs> what? What? What did I do? What did I do now? <laughs> Damn it! Did y'all find the bodies? Shit. <laughs> oh man, it has been a beautiful 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 october um i can't complain uh, everything's been just rocking on and we've been just moving forward with everything i do have a preliminary list for the conf conferences that i will be attending so far in uh to 2020 uh let's see so it looks like if everything works out okay we this is not this is not ground in stone yet but we hopefully uh, this is our hopes that for the for the for the 2020 uh drew i'm doing great uh it looks like i will be now this is this is going to happen this in january i will be in new orleans because i live here uh for haunt con so i will be at haunt con in new orleans in january so if any of y'all are planning on being at haunt con please look me up we'll do some pictures or whatnot okay so haunt con new orleans january then in February, I'm going to be do my best to be in North Carolina 
at Mad Monster. So Mad Monster Party, North Carolina. I'm going to try my best to be there, and that's in February. Then in May, I will be at uh, Frightmare Weekend in Dallas, Texas. And then in June, I will be at Mad Monster, Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona. So that is what I've got so far this year, for 2020. I'm sure that we're going to be adding some more stuff to it. I just don't know where yet. I am going to go to a conference. I don't care where it's at in the United States. I'm going to a conference that Fang, uh, Fang Show Jack will be at because I'm going to have Fang Show Jack make me some fangs. Um, so that's going to happen. I'm going to find where he's going to be and I'm going to fly to that convention to see him. So if y'all need teeth or you need fangs, definitely look up Fang Show, Fang Show Jack. He's uh, about the uh, the best in the business. I mean, you've got Father uh, Father Sebastian with the, the vampire crew and stuff, but uh, all, overall, Fang Show Jack is the bomb. Oh, let's see some of the comments here. Really. I made him two tie-dye shirts, one for him, one for his girlfriend. Yeah, it's... Yeah, hey, that sucks, man. I right, get your money, dude. You just tell me what a couple of us. Uh, <laughs> you just don't talk about finding the bodies. I know, right? I don't. You know, you just you can talk about finding them, but you just can't talk about where you hit them. You heard your voice and popped up like she smelled fresh coffee. That's funny. <laughs> Good morning, Alyssa. I hope that you are going to have an amazing day today. I'm pretty sure you will. So yeah, so. Looks like we got everything rolling right along. Uh, as always, I will ask y'all to please share out the TikToks, the the repost, the Instagrams. There's a there's a an app you can get called Repost, uh, Instagram Repost, and it will allow you to repost other people's uh, Instagram uh, pictures and whatnot, and uh, and tag him and all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. Good morning, Wyland. You missed me. We just talked yesterday. Aw, you're so sweet. Like, really need teeth? I, I'm going to go to the uh, dentist to have mine, mine done, but I'm going to see Fang Show Jack and have him make me a set of demon teeth to go on top of my regular vampire teeth. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, James. Hang on, um, she um woke up. Well, <laughs> tell her I said good morning. Good morning, Alyssa. Yeah, so the the pages are doing quite well. I'm I'm really impressed with the the amount of views we're getting um, on both the TikTok and the Instagram. Uh, they are they are just moving right along. But of course, I would always like to be shared more. Good morning, Zara. How are you? Great to see you this morning. You am I going to be in North Carolina? Yes. the The current schedule that I'm working on right now that we're they're working on, and it's not the only thing that's that's put into stone right now is New Orleans. Um, that is that is an absolute going to happen. New Orleans in January at HauntCon. Um, then it'll be February North Carolina. At Mad Monster Party, that is the second stop that we're going to try to make. Then in May, it'll be Fright Frightmare Weekend in Dallas, Texas, and then in June, it'll be Mad Monster Arizona. So that is that is the goals right now. We know for a fact that we're going to the one in, in New Orleans because I live here, and it's just a matter of going down the road. And I talked to uh, you yeah, to go to Haunt Con or to go to Haunt Con in New Orleans. You have to be a part of a haunt to get your tickets. You have to put what haunt you're with. Um, and Sinister Sydney's going to let me use his, so I can get my VIP tickets. She said, "A groggy good morning." Well, good morning. Waking up, I'm about to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed here in a little while. I uh, <clears throat> I worked all night long, like like every day, and uh, 
just got up or didn't get up I just, just got off work and decided I'd do my live feed a little early so I can uh, pop into the bed in a minute and go nighty night go nighty poo go sleepy poo yeah so so everybody as we stand right now the TikTok, which you know we only made the TikTok what a, a couple it was a couple weeks ago it really was like like it's less than a month ago less than 28 days ago or or maybe it was 28 days we have um 372 follows and we have quite a few likes let me go back to analytics um i think there's a yeah i have 11,352 views 372 followers and um there was a lot of likes i don't remember how many likes there was um but we've got i've got i've got over 6k on one video just on one video for it says 4k on here but it says 6k on the made page um so we're doing quite well on the TikTok. of course we could always use your help if you want to do a TikTok with me or you want me to do a TikTok with you duet whatever then please send me the uh the message me the video that you want me to to um duet with you or if you would like to see me do a video if you see a video on TikTok, there a, a sound clip or whatever that you would like me to do then send me that video and say hey i'd like you to do this one and i'll be glad to uh set that up i will be uh mad monster 2020 will be on yeah mad monster north carolina will be uh, yeah i'll be in uh february i'll be there zara and then mad monster arizona will be in june so there's two mad monsters every year and one's in carrot north carolina one's in, in uh, uh arizona i'll be going to both so yeah so january february may and june are my tour tour dates as of right now but the only one that is 100 percent is the new orleans since i live here good morning heather thank you for coming in it's great to see you i had a really good talk with heather yesterday and i told her some of the things that i've told all of you you know we were talked about uh owning your worth knowing your worth and and, and creating your worth and everything else that we've talked about and uh uh, it was really awesome. She was she uh, one of needed to hear it yesterday. It's pretty cool. I was glad that I was able to help her out with that. Too many likes, but I'm back. Well, welcome back, Roy. Uh, Heather, here in this room in the morning, you can ask anybody in here. Um, everyone here are their friends. Anybody that's in that little chat box right there, you can talk to anybody, and they'll tell you that. Uh, uh, we're here for each other and that we're all amazing right guys all right let's see <laughs> at least they're rapping a good boy that one's funny that's a funny video never do sleepy poo it smells bad and makes a mess Jesus that's true that's true too that's true you'll be in Charlotte then I may dress up bring confederate the clown out to play hell yeah yeah, if you're going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina uh, in February, then definitely come down. I'm, I I am going to try to get so my goals this year is not only to put the to put what conventions I'm going to be up be at up. I'll do videos on them as well, but I want to get with the group of people that are going to plan on being at that convention. If you plan on going to a convention that I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to and I'm going to be asking everyone to let me know and I will put them in the video and I will post out that they will be there as well. Uh, I do not think I'm going to buy any booths this year, but I will be there with some booths. Like I have friends that are vendors. So like, like Cult to Fools and uh, Chris FX and so on and so forth. So if someone is interested in going to a convention or meeting me, meeting me at the convention uh, to, to do the, you know have fun and run the convention run around then uh i'll get with y'all message me and we'll uh, work it out and then i will put you on the promo videos uh that where i'm going to the convention i can put you on the promo video that you'll be there too right what he said two more days in spencer's that's absolutely correct uh, booths, depending on what convention it is, can go from $350 up to $6,000, depending on what you buy. 
Um, most of the booth costs about three fifty to four fifty. I think uh, I think Trans World is like thirty five hundred. So and that would be the big one um, for a single booth. But I mean, if you get like bigger booths, big, you know, like multiple booths and stuff like that, it can get up pretty high. But the the most times you can get it for about three hundred fifty bucks. But I just don't want to mess with it. I, I, I after CreepyCon, I don't want to mess with the booth. I didn't make any money. Um, CreepyCon cost me a total of about six thousand eight hundred dollars to go there, and I had a good time. But it wasn't six thousand eight hundred dollars worth of a good time. I could have uh, I could have went on a really nice cruise or a really nice vacation with six thousand eight hundred dollars instead of going to work in a booth for three days. <laughs> I could have. I could have had a lot not nicer hotel. Now, I do have a special person that I would like to go to some conventions with me uh, next year. But it's a secret on who it is. And I'm also going to ask Joyster if he wants to go. Is Barbie in here? Barbie. Barbara. Are you in here? Good morning, Shelby. Shelly. Shelly. Sorry, Shelly. No B. Shelly. I do have a special person. Actually, I'll tell you. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm trying to talk Flinch into going with me uh, next year to a lot of these conventions, which I don't really have to talk him into it. It's about financing the, the, the trip. So I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot more with Flinch next year. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I, you know, I know he will. I know he will. I'm just going to talk to him about it because I got to make sure that's not going to mess with his job or his family or anything like that. You know what I mean? And I've got a pretty, pretty busy schedule, Zara. So, um, I mean, as of right now, good morning, Kenneth. Good morning. Um, yeah, my special person is Flinch. <laughs> I'm Flinch the Clown. Um, yeah, I've got a pretty, pretty busy schedule with January, February, May, and June, just, just for con conventions right now. And I'm sure it's going to get higher. Um, my goal is to hit 10 conventions next year, 2020. I want to hit 10 conventions. So I know with his, uh, I know he's got a busy schedule too, with his job and his family and everything like that. So I'm not quite sure what conventions he'll be able to go to. But what I like I said, what I plan on doing is when I find out that I'm like, let's say, for example, I'm definitely going to be at New Orleans Hot Con. We know that that is a 100 percent guarantee. I know that Gravedigger's coming down. I know that Cherry's coming down. If anybody else would like to meet up at Hot Con in New Orleans in January, please let me know if you are coming to Hot Con. We'll say it one time. If you're coming to Hot Con in New Orleans in January. Let me know, and I will put up a prim a, a, a premiere video of that we will be there together. And I'll be saying this a lot and talking to people individually. And then North Carolina for Mad Monster, Dallas for Frightmare, and then Arizona for Mad Monster, the second Mad Monster. Um, that's that's what's what's tentative right now. We just don't know if uh, it's in concrete yet. The only one we know is concrete is the New Orleans. Uh, Flinch. Flinch the Clown. F-L-I-N-C-H. Flinch the Clown. He looks a lot like me, but he's green and silly. Is he seeing if I'm coming to the one in Oklahoma? It is very possible. I uh, Slime Sickles had asked me if I would go to that one, and I don't remember what name it, it what what name it was, so I couldn't look it up yesterday. When we were um, when we were going over the stuff with the with the my company, so Abaddon Apollyon LLC is a real company. It's my company, and uh, I mean licensed, insured, the whole nine yards, and um, I'll pay taxes the whole the whole get up. Well, anyway, I have a I have a staff. I have a manager. I have a marketing department. A marketing person. Um, I have all kinds of shit. Anyway, um, we we were had a meeting yesterday and we were going over which cons I want to go to. And I said, I wanted to go into the one in, um, Oklahoma city, but I can't remember the name of it. So they're doing the research on it and I got to get with slime later and he'd tell me which one it is. 
Um, yeah, I talked to Flinch last night. We, uh, I designed, I don't know if y'all saw or not, but I designed the graphics for the tailgate of his truck. And uh, I got that all done. And he got it vinyl wrapped, and it looks amazing. Um, that's on his personal page. But uh, we talked last night, and we're trying to figure out exactly which ones we're going to hit together, or what we're going to do, and you know, it basically is all going to fall down finances. But yeah, I'm going to invite people to every, when I come, when I say, okay, I'm definitely coming to another area, then I'm going to be looking for people that are, want to go or going, so on and so forth, so we can meet up and we can have fun for the entire weekend. 2020 is going to be the year for the conventions. We're going to hit them. We're going to hit them hard. We're going to have fun. We're going to push Colt to Fools. We're going to push Abaddon to Pollyon and everybody else. And we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. We're going to hit after parties. We're going to, we're going to have fun. Courtney knows name and dates. Okay. Yeah. Shoot that over to me. Uh, Nightfall Haunted Haunted Territory Horror Con. That's a long ass name. You're gonna have to message me that because I'll never remember it. That's in July. It's possible that I may be able to. I think the reason I didn't wasn't able to make it last year is because I had just got back from uh from Ad Monster in Arizona because it is it's the end of June. And I think I flew back in and it would have cost me like triple to fly back to new to to uh, Oklahoma City. So I may work it out this year if I can that I might because I've got friends out there too. I may work it out to where I I just fly from Phoenix to Oklahoma City and then and stay in Oklahoma City for a few days. I hit the con and then come home. That'd probably be cheaper. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. So we've got, see, we talked about the TikTok this morning. We talked about the, uh, the Instagrams, the Instagrams, Instawebs. Um, we talked about the conventions. We're sitting at 750 followers on Instagram. I want to get that to a thousand before Halloween if it's possible. So please go share out my Instagram to everybody and anybody you can think of. I had to turn my tablet off. <laughs> exact same dates as last year. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And I've, I, if I remember correctly, I think it was because I flew a uh, uh, mad monster. Arizona is, is probably my biggest and most exhausting con because I do so much there. Um, I'm running like crazy. So when it was over, I hit that plane and I came home and I slept for like three days. Yeah, we'll see. It's very possible. It's possible that I can make it, but I'm like I said, I don't want to put it down and not be sure I've got to talk to management and all that good stuff because if they have a cross promotion or something else that I have to do, then I'll have to go to that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try to hit Oklahoma this year. Um, I do want to hit different areas. The only place I do not want to go and I have never wanted to go is California. I do not really, I just don't care to go to California. I don't care to do any cons out there, even though they got some really good cons. I want to stay on the uh, mid to east coast. Good morning, Lacey. How are you? You're home with your parents? Awesome. That is really great. Yeah, so we are... Oh, that's awesome, Lacey. That's awesome. Alyssa says, I'm awake now. I'm not. I'm, I'm ready to go to bed here soon. I'm exhausted. Yeah, so... If y'all have a conference that's near you, you need to let me know, too. If y'all would like to see me in your area... Um, and there's a conference going on, a convention or whatever, uh, let me know. Like I said, I've still got some other stuff to find. I've got to find out where Fang Show Jack is going to be. I'm waiting on his schedule to come out so I can make sure that I've got one of the conventions there is going to be, and it's going to be where he's at. I'm going to make sure I'm there for 100%. -o. 
and I'm getting messages. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's just Instagram. Okay. So yeah, so I'm definitely, definitely going to find him. And what I'm going to try to do, even, even if we're scheduled, if we're scheduled, if he's scheduled to come to one of the conferences that I'm already scheduled to, then we're cool. But if not, I'm going to be hitting some, whatever, whatever, wherever the hell he's at. I'm going to find one. Do your workout, Zara and everything. Have a good morning. It was great seeing you. Yeah, I'm going to be on here for about 20, 30 more minutes. I'll be getting out of here in a little while. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, we probably have the same reasons, Bobby. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we probably have the same reasons on why I don't want to go to California. But, uh, yeah, we don't talk about those things. So, there's, there's certain things that y'all will never hear me talk about. And um, I will say that I will not go to a certain area or I'll say that I don't want to go to a certain convention or something like that. But that's about as much as you're going to get out of me. Um, I make, uh, we, I talked about this to, with a person yesterday. I make big moves and I take a lot, I make a lot of big moves. But some of the things that I do, I keep quiet because I'd rather somebody see my actions than, than hear my words. So question is cherry shirt at Spencer's site or just cult of fools. We know yours is, uh, I think cherry is going to have a shirt on big Chris site. I think I'm not sure some of the people in cult of fools simply got drawn. Uh, some of the people are going to have merch, so I'm not sure what Chris is going to do with that yet. I don't think he's in the room this morning. He might be, but I don't know. Um, I will find out though. Because we have been talking about everybody getting a, a merch line on the Chris of Art, uh, Chris Big Chris Arts store, so we'll see. Uh, it's very possible. We have uh, more people that are going to be added to Big Chris as well, so we're going to be adding more people to the Cult of Fools. Next year is going to be off the chain. I've been saying it since day one that uh, this year with Cult of Fools has been a pregame. It's been a why am I? Why do I sound like I'm? I'm. I think I need a new microphone. My microphone sounds twangy. But anyway, um, this has been a pregame. You know, next year 2020 is going to be hardcore. There's going to be all kinds of stuff coming out with Sinister Fables and Cult of Fools and everything else for Halloween next year. And I'm going to be pushing it all year long. So all these conventions that I'm going to and everything, we're going to be knocking Cult of Fools out of the park. Uh, try to get them like insane amount of followers and, and, and get them into more stores. Maybe next year we can work on something with Walmart or something, something big. I want, I want, to, I want to push this as far as I can, see what I can do. But absolutely um, love working with Chris and Q. So anyway, yeah. Lots of conventions next year. Lots of things going on. Uh, not, not just work. I, I do have my job set up. You're going to like this. Um, I do have my job set up to where I can work from anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world. As long as I have an internet connection with my blueprinting job. Now I do have, I did get hired on. I got cast for a movie next year. I will be filming it next year and I'm having to move some of these conventions around my shoot dates. Um, so I'm in a, a, another one yet, an, yet another one, but, uh, it's a big production and I got really, I got, I've, I've already got some of them. I got paid, um, good money, real good money. So I'm going to be doing this film and I will give you a hint. I will be a zombie. I'll be playing multiple zombies actually, but zombies, uh, wants four no more y'all are killing me here <laughs> you never know christmas is coming around uh heather uh she might get some christmas present from abaddon apollyon llc you never know good morning joshua yeah I, it, next year's gonna be insane for me i mean i've got the movie shoot i've got conventions i've got the blueprinting job of course um i have uh everything going on the shirts the cult of fools the the live shows, the live feeds. Yeah. Next year is going to be insane. Cool. Fun. I oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you. Yeah. I've been, uh, I've been doing 
Well, I've been working pretty steady in both jobs now for well, this whole year. I've been real steady and driving all over the place. I've been having lots of live drive feeds and stuff. Baby cakes. <laughs> it kills me calling me baby cakes. <laughs> I'm drinking tea this morning because I'm getting ready to go to bed and I drank about two pots of coffee last night. So I'm drinking tea this morning. Y'all make me giggle. <laughs> so it's going to be an amazing day. So like, let's do this real quick. Let's let's go ahead. Since we got 10 people in here. Uh, let's go ahead. And let's, let's do this real quick. So I've told you all before. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't think we have any new people in here, uh, but I've told you all before about knowing your worth, about owning your worth and building your worth, and and how that uh, if you want to know, you know, if you want to see a warrior, go look in the mirror, because after everything you've been through, you're still standing. We've talked about this before. We've talked, we've talked about all that stuff. We've, you know that I think you are worthy. So let me go on from there and tell you this okay when you're dealing with someone else and they're being a jerk to you okay and you want to reach over and punch them in the throat i want you to stop for a second and i want you to remember that you don't know what they're going through they may be going through something that has them in an agitated state one or two they're not mature enough emotionally or mentally to be around you because you are amazing. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I had put it yesterday in a way that I'd never put it when I was talking to a person. That um, you, 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 can't, you, you can't be a king or a queen if you're acting like a peasant. I don't think I said a fool or a hoe. But if you're going to be if you're going to demand respect and you're going to be a king or a queen of your world, then you have to act the part. You have to be the part. You can't just act it. You have to be the part. You have to d deserve the the respect that you're demanding. You have to be a good person. Don't be a dick, basically is what I'm saying. Um, but when you're dealing with someone who is a complete and utter jerk somebody cut you off or they're their asshole at the coffee shop whatever the case may be you need to stop and you need to think it's one of two things either one they're going through something and they don't know how to emotional um, emotionally or spiritually handle what they're going through so they're lashing out or two they're not mentally or emotionally stable enough or, or, or intellectually smart enough or whatever the case may be to even be around you because your your thought patterns are going to increase more than around than others around you. You're gonna you're gonna be king status. They're gonna be peasant status. And I don't, I don't mean that rude. I mean it that once you start living the best life you can and being the best person you can, you're going to have opposition. You're going to meet people that are assholes. It's like it's like when you drink or, or you don't drink. I should say. If you go to the bar and you're not drinking because you just don't feel like drinking, every drunk in the bar is going to be trying to, oh, come on, I'll buy you a drink. Come on, drink with me. Oh, I don't want to drink alone. Come on, drink with me. Come on. Because the point is with them is you're not drinking. You're doing it because you don't want to drink for the, whatever reason the case may be, but you're there having a decent time, but they want you to drink with them because it makes them feel better. You understand what I'm saying? It makes them, you're bringing, they're bringing you down to their level. So... You know, let's get drunk and get retarded together because, you know, that's the thing to do. Well, I don't want to drink tonight. Well, oh, come on, drink with me. You know, and that's the way humanity is. That is that is the way it works. But we, as kings and queens of our universe, have to come above that. We have to be able to say, listen, all right, I've spoke my mind. This is the way it's going to be. And if you don't like it, you can remove yourself from my presence or I will remove myself from yours. If it, it amazes me how if somebody, if you're standing at a store, let's say you're standing at the gas station and some random person you've never met before walks up and slaps the shit out of you. And I mean, slaps the shit out of you. You are probably going to fight them. 
you are probably going to have a reaction but yet you date people that talk to you like you're a piece of shit that doesn't make any sense it does not make sense to me you 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 hang around friends that disrespect you that doesn't make sense to me but they're my friend no no if somebody is willing to verbally disrespect you or verbally assault you or physically assault you they are not your friend that is not how friendship works we as people need to elevate each other through our actions and in the same retrospect you can't be the person that's downgrading somebody else or talking shit about somebody else i mean there are people that deserve being t the truth being told but you don't embellish it. So if somebody does something that's wrong, you can say, yes, this person did me wrong. My ex cheated on me. It's wrong to do that. She did. It's wrong. But I'm not calling her a dirty cootie queen lint licker. You know what I mean? You cootie queen lint licker. No, I'm not. Because I have, but I have anger. But once I calm down, I realize that that negativity doesn't need to be in this universe. Just let it go. You know what I mean? So, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Heather, I don't think you've been in a morning feed, have you? Uh, this is the morning feeds. This is what we do. We talk. I talk a little bit. We talk about what's going on with Avidon Apollyon LLC and myself, my character. And then we talk about some positive things. And, and we try to put some positivity in the world. Uh, because it's just so damn negative out there. You can tell the truth without being a dick. That's correct, Bobby. Absolutely. You really can. Sometimes you have to be pretty direct, though. Sometimes you have to be pretty direct. And it's not because you're being an asshole. It's because the person you're speaking to does not understand plain English. You know what I mean? So sometimes you have to kind of be rough or abrasive, but you don't have to be a dick. Anyone who truly cares about you will treat you with respect and kindness. That is absolutely 100% truth. Truth. If someone truly cares about you, they will never hurt you. Or if they accidentally hurt you, hurt your feelings, I trust, trust that they are going to suffer 10 times worse than you are because they're going to, and I've done it. I've said some things before and I realized that it hurt somebody's feelings. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's not what I meant. I did say lint liquor, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, and we've all done it. You always, but there's people that have misspoken words and, or you'll say something with the intent that it means this. And the person takes it completely off in the left field. And it's like, no, that's, that's not what I meant at all. And, uh, I mean, so those things are understandable, but if someone is just blatantly disrespecting you or talking to you, talking down to you or calling you names or, or making you feel less than the amazing person you are, get away from them. I mean, seriously, if you pick up a snake and it bites you, you throw the snake. You don't sit there and let it bite you over and over and over again. You're not Steve Irwin. That's not how it works. Makes sense, everybody? That's why I've stopped doing some things. Uh, you're tired of just... Dude, I'm going to tell you what. I'm telling you, one of my pet peeves, and it is my biggest pet peeve. My big, my big, it is my absolutely, I'm going to turn the music off for this one because this one, this one riles me up. You want to know, you want to grinds my gears? I absolutely hate it. I hate it with a passion. It's the one that I, word, hate's a very strong word for me, but I hate it. I hate when someone is telling me something they're excited about. They're telling me about something that they're passionate and excited about and they shut up in the middle of talking and say, I'm sorry, you probably don't want to hear about this. It pisses me off so bad. I, my blood pressure just went up like 5 billion points because it pisses me off so bad because somebody somewhere told them it doesn't matter or they're not interested or, or they're, it's stupid or they said something that broke that person's excitement, that person's passion, and that pisses me off. No one should ever, 
ever, ever, ever feel like their passions and their excitement doesn't matter because it does. You all matter. And if you're excited for something, then I'm excited for something. So if we're ever talking and you're telling me, oh my God, I'm going to be doing this and this and this and this and you stop, just remember, I'm going to get mad and I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, all right, who hurt you? Who told you this was stupid? Who told you that they didn't care about this? You need to tell me. And then I'm going to go find that person and I'm going to have some words for them. Okay. I don't go out and seek to be violent or seek to be mean, but sometimes there's some people that just need slapping. Like a child, sometimes the child will not learn unless you whoop its ass. You know what I mean? I ain't talking about beating or nothing like that, but sometimes a child will not learn unless you put a little pain onto that ass and let them, you have to remind them who the boss is. Some adults are the same way. Some of them didn't get hugged enough. Some of them didn't get spanked enough as children. This one time, baby cake said, raw, raw, I'm duck. Oh, here, let me do it. Hold on. Raw, I'm a duck. <laughs> yes, I'm here and I'm alive and we're going to be doing lots of fun things. So here's my demon voice. Wylan, you get to hear it once a day and that's it. <laughs> all right so that's all you get snakes or nope ropes and danger noodles that's right good morning david sergeant how are you sir it's good to see you all right so you say that look you watch their face most people seem disinter disinterested all right so if a person cares about you or a person is your friend then they're going to be interested in what you're saying it may not be to the level of interest that you have, but you can't expect someone to jump up and down for joy over something that you're excited for unless your excitement builds to that point. If you're talking hesitantly to someone, like for example, I'm going to tell this person about what it really is. Oh my God, my shirts. I'm going to tell them I'm so excited about my shirts. I'm going to tell this person about my shirts. But the whole time I'm watching them and I'm waiting for them to have a negative reaction then they're not going to get excited about what I'm saying because I'm holding my own excitement back. You understand what I'm saying? And the reason I hold my own excitement back is because someone else broke me. Someone broke you, Barbie. So you're not doing it to yourself. You're doing it because somewhere, at some point in time, somebody looked at you and said you ain't good enough. And that's bullshit because you are. So when you tell somebody about something that you love, I don't care if it's your kid, if it's your shirt, if it's your dog, I don't care. If you telling somebody about something you love, then you scream it from the top of your freaking lungs from the highest building you can get on. You do whatever you want to do because it's your excitement. Nobody else's. You don't watch their face. You make their face chains. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't, it's a real simple way to find out who really supports you and who doesn't. If you're telling somebody about something that you're really excited about and really love, and they look at you like you're stupid, guess what? There's your answer. Right? Makes sense? <laughs> yeah, Dwabby died. Yeah, okay, so I gotta put a clause in there. I gotta put a I've gotta put uh uh an, an addendum in here. If you speak to me before I have coffee after I wake up, when I wake up, if you speak to me before I have coffee, you are probably gonna get your head bit off. I am probably gonna call you something that's not very nice. I am not the person to speak to when I first wake up. My manager, my best friend, w walks in. Have you had coffee yet? Or he walks in and just hands me coffee and then walks out, will not speak to me until I've had a cup in me. Once I've had one cup, then we can talk. So there has to be an addendum. You're allowed to be an asshole, a complete and utter asshole until you've had one cup of coffee. But once you've had that one cup of coffee, you've had long enough to rein yourself in and get a hold of yourself. Good morning, Mark. How are you? It's great to see you this morning. 
Donna loves horses. Uh, horses are amazing, amazing creatures. So intelligent, so smart, so strong, beautiful. I, I love horses too. They're awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Every time, Mark, every time you come in here, I don't know why, but I think Mark Hamill. I think I'm, I'm like, Luke Skywalker just came in the room. I don't know why. Every time I see you, I think I, your name. I don't know why. Barbie's making coffee now. That's good. Coffee, tea, um, chamomile tea. It doesn't matter. Something. Yeah, it's good to have some type of something to and, and that moment. It's not necessarily the fact that you're drinking tea or coffee or whatever. It's the fact that you have the minutes, those those, however long it takes to drink a cup of coffee, to yourself, to think and get your head right and get and, and decide how you're going to be for that day because it all comes down to a decision. <clears throat> David, you have to drink a cup of co a cup of water. Okay. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to find somebody to bring you a coffee maker. I promise you. But it's about the reflection time. So I, was, I, I said earlier, there's two things, or there's a couple of things that I'll never, you'll never hear me speak about. I'm not going to tell you my political views on live. No one, as, as an entertainer, I don't have political views. I do as a person, but I do not as an entertainer. So I will not talk about politics, nor do I allow it around on my feeds, on my, on my pages or anything. Politics, totally not going there. And the reason is very simple. If I say I like one person, the people that hate that person will no longer be my followers. Period. Doesn't matter where it is or who it is. So I do not speak politics on my page. The other thing is I do not speak about direct religion. I do not speak about Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, Satanism, whatever the case may be, whatever. I do not speak about individual religions. I speak about the universe. So when you hear me say that you need to trust in the universe, and that you need to put your faith in the universe. That is my way of saying you need to put your spirituality, you need to get your spirituality in check with whatever God you worship. I don't care if you worship a hubcap. If you think the hubcap on your car is God, then the good for you. Go worship it. Get your spirit straight. I choose the word universe. All right, so you will never hear me talking directly. Well, it might slip up every once in a while. But you normally will never hear me sp speaking directly about religion. All right. So what do they say? Um, re religion religion is for people who fear hell, but spirituality is for people who want to get their spirit right. Um, and that's about the only thing you'll ever hear me say. I don't care what God you worship. I don't care what gods you worship. I will make Odin jokes every once in a while because, you know, I love the Norse, the Norse uh, and Viking uh, ways. So I do, you'll, you will hear me say Odin every once in a while, but, but, uh, but that is specifically the old gods. Most of the, the most political it gets is dark roast or Colombian blend. That's exactly correct, Mark. That is exactly correct. You're recovering from food poisoning today. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Well, I hope you start feeling better. I really do. You worship Dodges? There's my man. There's my man. There's Bobby. Is Bobby's got the right idea? All oh, blessed be the Hemi. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't talk about those things. So I wanted to put that out there because everybody that comes in the room, if you are chatting and typing in the room, in the chat room over there, uh, just know that we don't talk politics or specific religions. We do talk about getting your spirit right. We do talk about, we do talk about uh, understanding your worth and helping. I, I don't know why, but it seems like literally every single person I talk to has issues with understanding how just how much worth they have to some to everyone else. 
So you might be sitting in your room and think you're the loneliest person in the world, that nobody cares for you, that, that nobody likes you, blah, 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 blah. But I promise you, I guarantee you, there's at least three or four people out there in the world that are thinking about you right then in a, in a blessed way. Good morning, Jersey. How are you? Good to see you. Good morning, Ashley. Glad to see y'all come in this morning. So it's not just about knowing your worth. It's not just about knowing how important you are to someone else. It's about knowing your worth and knowing how important you are to yourself. Okay. I, I said it before. I say it again. It's my favorite one. If you want to know how strong you are, if you want to see a warrior, if you want to see an amazing person, go look in the mirror because I guarantee you after everything you've been through, you're still standing. You need a cape. Okay. Cause I know, I know I've listened to most of your stories individually and you guys are amazing. You're the heroes out there. You're amazing. The crap y'all have been through and you're still standing and you're still able to smile. You're still able to bring positivity in this universe. Yeah, you're awesome. You should know your worth. If you, uh, that's right, Bob. Bobby's right. You got to love yourself before you can love others. But I promise you this. I promise you, if you could see yourself through my eyes, if you could see you through my eyes, your entire perspective of who you are would change. All right. So as a human, we look in the mirror. I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I hate my nose. I can't stand how fat I was. I can't stand this. I can't stand that. My hair is screwed up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, when someone else looks at me, like I'm just going to use my dog because I just happened to look over and she's doing that look at that she gives me. My dog was just looking at me like I am the most coolest and the bestest human being in the world. That she thinks, well, she I can see the love in my dog's face. All right. I know it's a dog, but still counts. My dog is amazing. If I could see myself through her eyes, you know what I'm saying? Now, in the same retrospect, if you ever looked at someone and thought, why is this person in my life? Why am I allowing this person to do this? If you've ever thought that, then you need to dump the toxic because I'm telling you what, negativity spreads, positivity is slow to spread but negativity will take you over it will crush you you're oh that's awesome thank you Ashley I think about y'all all day too absolutely absolutely Trixie's in the house. Trixie's in the house. <laughs> what are you doing today, Trixie? How are you? <laughs> are you doing good, the clown girl? That reminds me. I went and liked all your stuff on TikTok, but I've got I've been looking. Y'all need to find some videos that I can I can do that with you, Trixie. With you and Kool-Aid. You need to find some TikTok videos I can duet with you. So do it. Do it. I'll be in face in two days. In two more days, I'll be back in face. 24th. I will be in face all day on the 24th. So you have two days to find a TikTok for me to duet with you, Trixie. Do it. Do it. If somebody else would like me to do it on TikTok with them, send me the video and I will. I'll be in face all day, Tuesday or thir Thursday, 24th, 25th, and 26th. The only time that I won't be available to do videos or whatever is when I'm on live feeds uh, with myself or with the Mister. I'm trying. I'm gonna try it. Me and Flinch have an idea that we're going to get together on live feed uh, on the 25th. I think if we can make that work, it'd be awesome. But you know how it's. <laughs> We've missed each other forever. Just laying in your bed, you couldn't sleep. Couldn't you couldn't sleep, so you figured, nah, let's see if Abaddon's on. Just 
nonchalantly. Let's just let's see if Abaddon's on. <laughs> Be like the guy in Fallout 4. There's a settlement that needs to be fixed over here. There's another settlement. There's another settlement. There's another settlement. There's another settlement. <laughs> I'm gonna see if Avidon's on. Of course I'm on. It's kind of. Okay. Oh my god, maybe I can get me and Classy to do one with you. So we'll be there Friday. She will be here. Oh, that's awesome. She'll be there Friday. That would be really cool. Yeah, set it up. Set it up. I'd love to do some fun TikToks with you guys, duets with you guys. And really push the pages forward. Put both push both of our pages. Um, I don't know why, but uh, other than the fact of my tags that I've been using, but I've been on the For You page a lot. Um, so, I'm getting some pretty good traction with my videos. I don't because it's time to feed foster kittens. Your feeds start hella early for me. They do. I started 30 minutes early today. So, I'm... I'm, I'm I started that 6.30 day instead of at 7. Um, but I knew I'd be okay because I'd still be on at 7 for when people came on. And it worked. See, people are here. Trixie, are you feeling better yet? Weren't you sick? And I'm not talking about sick in the head. Weren't you, weren't you like physically sick? And she's, she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. As hell. No. Ain't, wasn't you physically sick? I have a crush on somebody in the room too. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if they're in the room or not. I don't think they are. Damn it. I don't think they're in the room anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing a live feed. What you got? Splashing. Splashing. Why? Did you cut off and got back on? Oh, that sucks. The TV might be going out. Further down the list, and they were talking about replacing diodes and stuff like that. Yeah. And halfway down, the guy says, Change the picture mode. Come on. Oh, good. There you Change go. The picture mode to vivid. And then... <laughs> Fixed it right up. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yes, Trixie, I have a crush on you. I got a crush on you. No, Trixie, I don't have a crush on you. Gadgummit, calm down. <laughs> We are friends, lady. Do you need a ride? Do you need a ride back to the friend zone that you're trying to escape from? No, I'm just kidding. I love you, though. <laughs> uh, Mike said he said his uh, said his TV was acting up, and he was reading all these things about how to change diodes, and the TV's going out, and all this blah blah blah. blah. And then uh, down about halfway down the list, it said, uh, "Try changing picture modes." He changed picture modes. It's fine. It's perfect. I want to be TV on my mud flaps, Rich. You had no joke. You what? Yeah, big people on. Yeah, especially people posting feeds. I hate the ones that go in when you ask a question, and then they go in there and they purposely don't answer. They just give you shit because you asked the question, but don't know the answer themselves. I'm like, are you serious? Get the hell out of here. Oh, I hope you start feeling better soon. I really do. Dad gummit, this has been going on too long. You need to feel better. Are you messing with you just came in to mess with the damn dog, didn't you? That's all you did. You can't she's sleeping. It's resting so nice. Don't mess with the dog. Get out of here. Leave her alone. Oh, do you need to go outside? Yeah, she's fucking always want to go outside. Good morning, Cherry Snot. How are you? Are you doing quite well? Are you doing well, Cherry Snot? Are you doing quite well? Oh, the I, the person that I have a crush on. It might be in the room. I don't know. Oh, that's what I was talking about. And I forgot because Mike walked in. And he he, com he confuzzled me with talk of TVs during my live feed. 
So, oh my gosh. The answer is always 42. That is correct. You just woke up. We'll make your bed, Cherry. Get up, make your damn bed. So I got. So me and Cherry, um, we used to be on video chat a lot with a group group video. Uh, we had a group chat, and we were always in video chat. And Cherry, Cherry would come in pretty much every morning, and every morning she'd be making her bed. I've watched that woman over the damn camera while in group calls make her bed at least seventy six thousand times. At least. Oh, crap. yeah. See who's in here. See who's in here. It, she might be in here. I don't know. I don't know if she's in here or not. I'm not looking. Because then I'll fangirl. Plus, I like making you all wonder what the hell's going on. Some moves in life you do big. You scream from the top of your lungs. You stand on top of the building. You skydive down with a with a big uh, parachute that says F you and some moves you make in silence just saying <laughs> I'll leave it up to y'all to, to figure it out which one's what but yeah Cherry you missed it we were really really got into the whole um, uh, dealing with someone who's a jerk this morning um, how, what's the what's the the better way a, a better way to deal with it with a person that is difficult uh, like myself <laughs> this morning we talked about that and you missed it daggone it you're late refine the body OCD is a biatch yes it is yes it is but no we picked on cherry a lot for her bed making skills <clears throat> Cherry's the type of person that if she was putting a fitted sheet on would 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 be that person. Have you seen the video where they're jumping and they're rolling and they're kicking and they're trying to get the feet? What was it? Uh, not video, it was a movie. It was uh, J Jim Carrey or something trying to get the damn fitted bed sheet on. <laughs> That's Cherry. <laughs> That's right. You got your sister's baby? Oh, that's cool. Uh, now Cherry's going to get baby fever. Oh, Lord. She's going to get baby fever and she's going to start hitting on people again. You got to watch her. All I'm saying, if it's Ch if Cherry's got a baby, after a couple days with that baby, do, do not drink anything she hands you. She might be trying to kidnap you. So just saying, don't do it. <laughs> if your OCD, ADD, and CRS argue, that's all fine as long as the FBI and the AD and the don't show up. You know what I mean? <laughs> the FBI and the ADA don't show up. <laughs> if they show up, then you've got problems. Cherry, I was talking about the girls. I was talking about you would kidnap the girls to steal their womb. Womb. Is that womb? Womb? Okay, so I have an issue with English, okay? Why is there an L in salmon? S sa salmon. Salmon? I say salmon because it's got a damn L in it. And everybody's like, the L is silent. I've never heard of L silent. Like, no, L's aren't silent. E's are silent. L's can't be silent. They're standing up for tri stakes. If a demon and a demon have a baby... I will tell you this. I don't know the answer to that one, but I will tell you this. If a if an angel or a demon have a baby with a human, it is a Nephilim. And Nephilim are giants. I have no idea what Salman means. Salman. Salman. Sa See? Salman. Salman. I do know what Salman means. Salman. And Comb. Do you say the B in Comb? People, people get on to me because I do that. Because I'm like, comba. <laughs> knife. Say that one? It's knife. <laughs> it drives people crazy. I know the correct way to say the words. 
I just choose not to. Why? Because it's my world and I live in it and I can choose how I want to speak. If people out there can can literally, I mean, you've seen the news feeds. Oh, I is all going to the stores later. I, I was going to do this. I is going to do that. How you are is, uh-huh, uh-huh. If they can talk like that, if people can talk like that constantly, then I can say knife. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to the walls, Mark. Mm-hmm. Then I can say knife. <laughs> is the S or C silent in science? The S is because it's science. So it's science. That's how you say it correctly. Science. <laughs> what about Knight? That's Knight. Aw, Farrah, that's a uh, cherry. That's a cute kid. So if it is a D word, it will be big D. What? If it's so, if it's a D dot word, it will be a big D. All right, I'm lost. You, you lost me. I don't understand your science. <laughs> I don't understand the science from what you're saying about the Kniff Salmon. You know, and it, it's all fun and games, but you know, the whole thing is, is talking about it. Good morning, Vicky. The whole thing about talking about it and joking around with words and English and everything else in the world is the fact that this is your world, all right? When you close your eyes, nobody else is in there with you. It is just you. And you have to live with yourself. You have to be happy with yourself. You have to humor yourself. You have to laugh at this world because this world is so dark and so bleak that we have to be the shining lights. We have to be the sense of humor. We have to be the smiles that other people need. The universe puts us in some really crappy situations sometimes, but the truth is, you know, I used to get so angry at the big man, the big G. And um, the truth is, is the universe puts us in these situations because we're strong enough to handle them. The fact that we're still here proves that, that we made it through those situations, but we were put through those situations because we could handle it and we can sit down with someone who's going through it now or who's going to go through it in the future and literally not lie to them when we say that I understand what you're going through and this is how I got through it. This is what helped me. So we go through very bad things in our lives but it's so we have the experience to help people with less strength than us get through them. Just because I like the feeling in my head. <laughs> so, you want me to say it right or you want me to say it wrong? You want me to say it the way I say it? Or you want me to say it the correct way? Do you want me to say zoology or zoology? Which one do you want me to say? Because <laughs> I like saying it zoology. But I know it's zoology. Yeah, we uh, we go through... So yes, the way you say it. <laughs> zoology. <laughs> cryptozoology. It's cryptozoology. But yeah, I say cryptozoology. Anyway, yeah, it's my world. It's my English. I'll do it how I want because it makes me giggle inside. And it's the little things. Uh, we've said this before. Look around your room right now. Look around wherever you're sitting, your work, your room, your car. Look around. I guarantee there's something that you can look at, you can place your eyes on that will make you smile through a memory of a good time. And it's those moments that you try to strive for every single day. And the words, words are mine. Here comes the feeling of your head explode. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, see, now that one's a hard one, Cherry. That one's a hard one because I say caramel. I, I say caramel and I don't know the correct way. That's that's the one. That's, a, that's one of the words that I don't know. I've heard it say it called caramel. 
and I, but I, I've always called it caramel because that's what I heard it called when I was a kid. So, I, and I never knew any difference until like, I mean, a, a few days ago, like literally it was like, what, a month or two ago we were talking about it and I was like, what? And they were like, is it caramel or caramel? I'm like, what are you talking about? It's caramel. And they're like, no, it's caramel. I'm like, Wait, what? Like, I'd never heard it called caramel before. Yeah, I've never heard it called caramel before until y'all. Never heard it. It, 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 it. So it was a new, that was a new thing for me. It's the only word it really does to me. I just shout out. It's so <laughs> right. It's so crypto zoology. Separate the O's. <laughs> Got to put a comma in there, man. Or a little long symbol sub, symbol over the O first O. It's called, oh my God, there used to be a, I used to, I used to mess this word up on purpose too. No, it's the sil syllables, syllables, sy syllables, syllables, syllables. It's called syllables. <laughs> syllables. I think that's how I used to say it. I don't remember how I used to say it, but it used to be hilarious. Say caramel. Are you trying to get me to say caramel? Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> y'all are y'all are silly. Y'all are really silly this morning. <laughs> it makes me giggle. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> you guys are you guys are amazing. You guys are fun. <laughs> Huh. I'm waiting for y'all. Y'all are looking up words now, aren't you? Is that what y'all are doing? Y'all are actually like looking up words? Is it cherry snot? Or is it cherry anal? Do y'all know the difference? Can you spot the difference? Can you tell me? I bet you don't know. I bet you don't know. I bet you don't know. Oh, I hadn't sent her that lately. Where's my phone? I forgot. But I'm going to remedy that right now. Snapchat. Snapchat. Roll over. Finder. Done. There we go. I can't believe I forgot. I've been I forgot to do that the last few days. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 7:50. We got 10 minutes left, and I'm getting out of here. Uh, so let's see. Oh my God, what about the word moist? Moista. Okay, so my two favorite words in the world are moist and duh. We've we've had this conversation, and if you put them together, you get moista. They get moisture, but moista. Moista, moista than an oyster. Thank goodness, but yes, thanks. Good, she's at the bus stop. Hey, look, just saying. I did y'all hear the big conversation where they said water can't be wet? Water is not wet. Wet is what happens when you get water on something, but water itself is not wet. What do you think about that conversation? Water can't be wet because wet is what happens when water gets on something. It's like you can't, your car doesn't drive, you drive your car. Well, water is not wet. Wet is what happens when water gets put on something. How about that? You need to attend cobbler. <laughs> Add attend attend. Uh, oh God, I got me confused now. Uh, is Joyster in here? Good morning, Joyster. If you're in here, he messaged me. Uh, I said hi on live, but not sure.
sure if you're here. Okay, but, 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 I know, I've got to go, I need to go to bed. Do you ride a bike? Or drive a bike, you ride a bike. You, you ride a bike. You drive a vehicle, you ride a bike. Um, the difference is you get in a vehicle, you get on a bike. That's the difference. Peach Cobbler, oh my God. Heather, you keep talking like that. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's, that's how you get wife status. I'm just saying. That's how you get wifed up. Saying things like Peach Cobbler? Yeah. Now watch yourself. You'll wake up and, and look around and wonder where the hell you're at and why you've got a ring on your finger. Because someone's kidnapped you and married you. What happens? How is water not wet though? It's very simple. It, it is. Water can't be wet because wet's a verb. Wet, wet is what happens when water gets on something. So water's not on water because water's water. You can't get water on water because it just makes more water. So in order for something to be wet, it has to be a, a, a secondary object that you put the water on and then that object becomes wet so water is not wet aha ah, ha think about it it'll drive you mad it'll drive you crazy no you don't ride a bike and drive a motorcycle you ride a motorcycle ride a bike no 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 no, no you ride because you don't get in it you get on it uh, 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 I got you. All right, so let's do the. What am I missing? Wait. Okay, that's I'm sending the cobbler pick. Oh my god, you you you're evil. You're evil with the cobblers. I'm telling you. Why is baloney round and bread square? That's a that's that's a good question. That's a dad gum good question. Doesn't make sense. But did you know that there's a way you can cut the bologna to make it square? Like actual one piece. There's a there's a, a video on how to take and you cut cut it you cut it in two ways and then flip it or something and it makes it square. It's crazy. Anyway. Alright, so let's do our shameless plugs because it is 754. Shameless plugs. Are you ready for your shameless plugs? All right, first off. Cult of Fools. Go to the Cult of Fools page. On Abaddon, already know on Abaddon Plan. Uh, go to Cult of Fools page on Facebook and Instagram, okay? Big Chris Arts, Dream Ghoul 13. Go check them out and follow them on Instagram and Facebook, please. As well... You want to go to abadonapolion.com. All the links are there. You can pre-order the shirt. Um, I did not link Spencer's yet, but it is one of my posts on official Abadonapolion on Facebook. So you can go there. Please do me the favor of sharing out my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Facebook to everybody and anybody you can think of. Uh, for I want to get my followers up. I really appreciate that. And get this word out to as many people as we can. Cherry Snot's throwing the links out there. Thank you so much, Cherry Snot. Uh, Big Chris Arts, uh, Dream Ghoul 13, and uh, Cult of Fools. Uh, matter of fact, while you're at it, go go follow Cherry Snot. Cherry Snot, C H E R R Y S N O T T. It's right there in the in the chat box. Please follow her. She is an amazing person. Joyster just came in the room. Hell yeah! What's up, Joyster? Good morning. Joyster's six and a half puppies. He, he doesn't realize it yet, but he's going to have puppies. Um. But yeah, follow Joyster as well. Uh, everybody in here is an amazing person. You all have qualities that that are just amazing. And I want you to think about this really hardcore for a second. Okay, I really want you to think about this. If you go outside this morning and you look and you've seen a sunset or a sunrise or you, you've got something beautiful to look at, 
look at nature look how gorgeous this world is this world is amazing and the universe decided that we needed one of you as well that means a lot it really does don't treat yourself like a piece of trash because you are amazing I promise you all right guys so please take that to heart know that i think about y'all every single day and that i love and respect you except for one person one person can kiss my white ass but they're not in the room because i already blocked them so i don't worry about them <laughs> okay anyway i love y'all and smile because you never know somebody's gonna need to see that smile be compassionate. If you see somebody struggling, talk to them. Don't wait until someone is dead to show them that you love them. I can't stand when I go to funerals and be like, oh my God, he was my best friend. I'm like, really, dude? I haven't seen you in like six years. So, um, yeah. Uh, show people you love them while they're alive. Okay? Be respectful to each other. Be kind. Don't be a dick. Be kind to each other. And realize that people go through all kinds of stuff all right what's the words there it is there it is love peace and chicken grease i'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball we'll talk to y'all later love y'all